What's going on, everybody? Back with the 20th episode of OU Picking. All kinds of cool pieces. These are were all acquired from a long weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Hitting up a bunch of flea markets. I hit up Renningers of Kutztown on Saturday. And on Sunday, I hit up Renningers of Adamtown, as well as Shups Grove. Um, also on Saturday, I forgot to mention, I hit up Saturday's Market in Middletown, PA. All over Pennsylvania, found all kinds of cool stuff. Just going to go ahead and get right into it here. First off, you see the old Milwaukee beer sign. Pick that up for $10. Very cool piece. Next up, we got the Flavor Fresh Oysters tin. I've seen numerous ones of these going for $20, $30, $40. Bucks. This one's missing the lid. It's got all kinds of rust and some damage. But I picked this up for a dollar. Can't go wrong with a dollar. Also for a dollar, got three very cool milk bottles. Uh, these two Modern Dairy out of St. Mary's, PA. This one right here is, um, let's see, Elmview Jersey Farm Dairy out of Columbus, PA. Dollar a piece, like I said. Always do good on milk bottles. Can't keep enough in stock. Moving on. Um, this very cool Schlitz light beer sign. Nice and shiny, it has special lager on it. Very cool piece. Ended up uh, talking down on that one. Got that for $11. Very, very cool piece there. Um, next up, we got the Kendall, the 2,000 mile oil tin. Got that in a bundle. Uh, we'll talk about that bundle right now, actually. This is the Kendall 2,000 mile motor oil tin. Next piece in the bundle, this old Reading, old Reading beer tin, or tray, excuse me, beer tray. Do pretty good with trays. Very cool piece here. Um, this is a Smith's of Philadelphia ale with the glass intact. I've seen numerous ones of these this weekend, all going for about 30, 40 bucks a piece. Uh, some of them are going for 30 bucks even without the glass. Very cool piece there. Pretty heavy duty. And also in that bundle got these four, I believe they're bocce balls, bocce balls. Not exactly sure. My friend was telling me about them. Um, I ended up getting them in this bundle. Basically because the guy just threw them in, asked me if I wanted these also. I was looking at them. Got four of these. Cool balls. So I got the balls, the statue, the tray, and the tin. $30 on all four. Almost positive I'm going to make at least $30 back on just the statue. Next up, we got some different signs here. Uh, Cronenborg, Europe's number one bottle of beer. Got this sign for $2. Genesee beer. Two dollars and a very cool framed Schlitz piece of advertising. Five dollars, as you can see, it's still marked. Very, very cool piece. Um, next up here, we got this cool head of the Bourbon family, old granddad lamp. Ten dollars paid for it, still marked ten dollars. Didn't even talk it down. I thought it was a really cool piece. See, getting about twenty, thirty dollars out of that, hopefully. Uh, let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. Pretty sure we mentioned all this stuff, which we did. All right, now you see three jam-packed filled boxes and a couple pieces in the front. Um, mostly Avon stuff in these three boxes. I picked out some of the cooler pieces. This is a George Washington piece. Um, this is a barber pole, which I've sold one of these before on eBay for about three, four, five bucks. Um, this is a cool capital building here. We got some cool pipes, which I thought were cool decanters. A couple of one a day bottles here. Um, a string Osol can. Uh, pretty interesting White's pharmacist bottle here of sorts. Just a cool little piece. All kinds of different bottles in here. Different Avon decanters. Different, there's a Houston Oilers decanter. Uh, let's see, here's a. I guess a bird, possibly missing the head there. It's probably in the box somewhere. Different random stuff like this McCormick minced garlic. Um, more Avon decanters. Here's a bike. Uh, let's see, here's a tractor. Um, numerous amounts of decanters in here and different bottles. All of this you see here, $5 for everything. Killed it with this. Um, whether I piece it out on eBay or I piece it out at yard sales, throw a couple in the flea market. Some of these cool ones here might go to the flea market. 
haven't finished going through all these boxes yet. Five dollars. So we'll see where that goes. I'm sure it's going to be a big come up on that. Um, these are the latest pieces that we're going to be working on in this episode. Flipping them on eBay, flipping them at flea markets, flipping them in the co-op. Very, very cool stuff ahead. And uh, I'll check back soon. What's going on everybody? As you can see, the table here in the office is empty, which means it's about time to get out and get some more picks. Um, right now in the store, as a matter of fact, you can check out a very, very cool lot of all of the Avon decanters that I picked up in this past week's pick, last weekend. Bundled 85 of them, put them in a lot. Going to see what they go for here. I was going to wait to see how that sold before I made this video, but I wanted to get something out today. Um, also, have a very cool lot. We did some spring cleaning, getting rid of some old posters, old uh, signs and license plates. Doing a big lot of that just to clean some room out of the office, make some way. Still have some items listed. A lot more stuff coming to the store. I would pan to the left and you would see a big pile of packages, but I don't want to give out people's shipping addresses and whatnot, so I won't do that. Maybe go to the bottom here a little bit on the floor, give you a brief little overview. They're not giving away any information. You can see it's quite the big stack. All right, there, saving people's identity. Once again, I will see you real soon on the next episode of OU Picking. I thank you for watching today. Check out the store for these two lots, stores.ebay.com slash Productions. And I will be out picking again as early as tomorrow. So uh, there will be some new items on the way as well. Keep checking out the store. And check out the link that you're about to see to go on over to Picker's Corner. On Facebook, my friend Scott actually got up a very, very cool page. Only a few members so far, but we're sharing all kinds of cool information, places to pick, recent pictures. Going to have some videos on there. Cool, cool stuff. Check out that link that you're about to see, and I will see you guys on the next episode of OU Picking. I thank you for watching. Thanks, guys.